Today we're going to be talking about core strength and how it can help improve your low back pain. Dr. Brittany here with Bloomington Wellness Center. Today I'm here with Zach and we're going to be running through a couple of really simple easy core exercises you can do at home which can help prevent lower back pain and help ease some of it if you're having lower back pain already. So the first one we're going to start with is called Bird Dog which is why it's called that funny name for obvious reasons. What you're going to do is you're going to start in what we call tabletop meaning you're on both knees and you want to stack your shoulders overneath your wrists and you want to stack the knees right underneath the hips. So what we're going to do here is we're going to slowly brace your whole core and then we're going to have Zach lift the right leg and the left arm in unison. Perfect. So what you'll see is Zach has good form while he's doing this, meaning his pelvis is nice and flat. He's not working harder with either side of his body. And what this is doing is it's working the whole length of the extensors, his lower back muscles and also the front core muscles to help stabilize and balance him where he is. So go ahead and bring all the way back to neutral. Perfect. And then what you're going to do after that is you're going to slowly do the other side as well. So we're going to lift leg and arm at the same time. Perfect. Same exact thing. He's going to try to keep his pelvis nice and neutral so he's not lifting one side over the other. And same thing. He's going to be bracing his core the entire time to prevent falling over or prevent any injury. So go ahead and lower again. Here's that. The easiest way to do this exercise is each time that you straighten. So go ahead and do this again. You're going to take a giant inhale and then as he relaxes, he'll exhale. Same thing on the other side. Big deep inhale and then go ahead and come back to normal and exhale. That way instead of having to do any specific counting, it works with your breath so it's almost like doing yoga postures at the same time. So the next one we're going to do, we're going to have Zach go ahead and turn onto his back. And what we're going to do here is start with what we call pelvic bridging. So there's a couple of different ways to do this exercise, but what we really want to focus on is pulling with the lower abs in your core instead of pushing up with the legs and your glutes. So what we want Zach to do initially is we want him to pull his belly button into the ground. So you should feel like your lower back is slightly pushing into the ground. There shouldn't be any pain while you do this. If you experience any lower back pain, we want you to go ahead and stop. And what we want Zach to do is pull and we're going to have him gently lift up his hips. Okay, and go ahead and relax. Go ahead and pull up one more time. So what we want him to do this entire time is he should be pulling his pelvis up with the lower abs and instead of pushing with the hamstrings and the glutes. And go ahead and relax again. For some people what you'll notice is it's very, very hard to not push with your glutes and your hamstrings. And again, that's just a good indication that you might have a little bit more of a weak core. So what we're going to do then is we just want you to gently pull the belly button into the ground and flatten your lower back. And then we're going to have him lift just about a half an inch to an inch. And then as soon as you start to feel your glutes or your hamstrings engaging, you want you to go ahead and quit. You're still getting just as good of a workout, but that way you can make sure that you're working the proper muscles and not stimulating the wrong ones. This posture especially is a very good exercise to do at home if you're having some acute lower back pain. It helps take pressure off of your lower back and again engages that core to help protect any injuries that you might have. And the very last exercise we're going to go over is a plank. So go ahead and turn over on your stomach. Most of us have done planks before at one point or the other, but there's multiple different forms to do them. So the easiest variation of a plank is going to be to come up on the knees and on the elbows. So again, proper form is just how Zach is doing it here. So he's holding his whole back flat. You can tell he's engaging the whole core and he's not cheating by dipping the hips low, which is hard on the lower back, or pulling the hips up too high, which again isn't engaging the core. So go ahead and relax. If you want to take this one step further, what you can do is pop up on your toes and on the elbows. And again, very important to make sure that your lower back is flat. So you might want to have somebody stand next to you and let you know, or have a mirror nearby so that you can see that you're not dipping the hips or pulling them up too far. And again, if this isn't challenging enough for you, you can always prop up on the hands as well. Perfect. And again, this is the most challenging form because again, obviously your body's holding the most amount of weight. So go ahead and relax here, Zach. So all of these, again, are really simple, easy exercises you can do at home. There shouldn't ever be any pain while you're doing them. If for any reason you feel any pain anywhere in the body when you're doing these exercises, go ahead and take a break and make sure you consult with either a chiropractor or a physical therapist or your trainer to make sure that you're doing proper form. Go ahead and click here to subscribe to our channels and see more videos like this and like us on Facebook.